So only three videos in this recording today, and we're going to start out, or three games I should say. We're going to start out with Brave Queens here, which is our, my Jin game. And two of the players uploaded their replay as well. So we're going to check that out after I take, I think, two or three turns here. So we got, what was that? Mathematics. And I think I pop a giant within, yeah, the next turn. So I upgraded that village. I wasn't able to pop a giant, but I was able to get one extra star. And when I chop that tree down in the east, my last my last tree I can chop, during the next turn, I'll be able to put um, a sawmill up there by my capital. Wait. Okay, so instead, I chopped that tree and I got farming. So either one would have worked. Um, oh, it's because I already had a sawmill next to my capital. So I guess farming is the only one that would have worked. So we got Ellie Ryan coming in here. So Yadak luckily is a bot and he's a friend of mine, a friend bot. So we don't have to fight him, but we are gonna be able to take his village just because um, Ellie Ryan moved into it. And I have Failed to find Ellie Ryan's capital with that explorer. I'm thinking it's right there next to that farm. Because, I mean, the first village you upgrade is normally your capital. I'm going to see Yadak still, my friend. And we're going to pummel the unit in his village. And then we're going to check. I believe I checked. Well, I, I checked. I don't know if I recorded it. But I checked. And Yadak's still my friend, even after pummeling his village like that. So this is uh, Sev Pat's replay. He's doing really well over there on his own. And uh, Sev Pat, and here's Scubbles. Scubbles on a one village island, but he said he's fine without a restart. And he might just get some battleships out of there, but unfortunately so will Sev Pat. And now we transition to my game Majestic Conquest, which is my Almaji game. This is just going to be some naval spam, which is uh, fairly boring. Oh, back to, uh, I was saying, I was going to tell you, uh, Sev Pat, he messaged me the other day and said he's back and he wants to uh, he wants to play again, and it's been about almost a year. And people often ask me how long I've been playing, and I always say forever, but I never really check. So I've probably been playing at least a year now. So hats off to Sev Pat for coming back. Um, hopefully it's like riding a bike. Hopefully he doesn't start out with uh, training wheels on again. So yeah, I'm Luxador is rich. I've entered that village down there. This is probably the third unit. Yeah, it's definitely at least the third unit I've put in that one village trying to capture it. And he's going to pop a giant in there again. I thought I had him this time. I've got my boats in his shallows around the village trying to prevent him from being able to afford another giant. But he uses a monument down south. It looks like he got one port in there as well. So, I mean, his score is right behind mine. His score is only about 300 points less than mine. So, I mean, there may be a chance. Alternatively, um, I've got a, a beachhead on his landmass, but he doesn't have one on mine. So really, he's kind of just... He's more defensive, and I'm completely offensive, more or less. It's going to be hard for him to turn it around. So I got my giant back in there again. I don't have enough... 
I don't block all of his shallows this turn. I probably should have. Instead, I'm trying to just block his giant battleship from being able to come down there and um, hit my already wounded giant. So there we make more defenders to go into those two bottleneck ports. I may have to make a third eventually. So let's see. So let's see if that pays off. But now we transition to my IMO game. I'm going to have to look the name up really quick. So my IMO game is Eternal Storms. So there's that contentious village still. So Polaris, Polaris has resigned. He quit after I broke through his ice defenses. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to open that ruin though because I've got I've got bigger matters at hand. Because I want to get rid of that Gami and try to take some more villages before uh, Luxador starts making his way across the ice there. So I'm not able to quite kill that Gami this turn. But I mean that knight will definitely kill him. That knight with 12 health back there will definitely kill him next turn. And if he moves to freeze my giant, then I'll have uh, multiple knights that he won't be able to freeze that I can attack him with. I probably shouldn't have put that knight in that village right next to the Gami because he's probably just going to freeze that one. So now I have to start thinking about um, what do I do with Barter? Well, I was going to say and Luxador, but more specifically just Barter at this point. Let's speed this up. These turns are... I swear it was like two or three times speed before, and now it just, on this longer game, it just decided to slow down. So let's go at two times speed. So we're going to make our way over into Barter territory and check out what he really has. So Lux and Barter has, have not made any progress for forever, honestly. I mean, at turn 25, I don't think either one of them have successfully captured anybody else's villages in this game. Except for when Barter took my village up north. But, I mean, that was that's one I gave to him because I knew I wouldn't be able to keep it. And that was just, um, it was just kind of like a ploy, a distraction to keep Luxador and Barter fighting over it. And it's paid off pretty well. So I don't I don't plan on keeping it this turn either. I know it's gonna be taken back, but I mean I only just put a defender in it. He's only worth three stars. I think it'll be worth the distraction he presents there. So I'm making progress with Polaris. It's slow. Oh, he's got another full health Gami now. Though, Polaris has got to be the most annoying tribe. Especially the Gamis. So, a sneak attack on Luxador there. I, I don't know. Did, maybe Luxador didn't... Never tried to explore down south. Maybe all of his attention has been focused on um, Barter up to this point. So, I just disabandoned my, knight, my giant there. He was... He was weak, but now, since I disband him, I can afford to get some fresh knights into the fight. And we're finally going to be able to see what's up north, in the extreme north here. So Barter's got maybe, what did I see, two villages up there? And then I just separated my uh, catapults, because I'm pretty sure Luxador is going to attack. <laughs> 